Okay, great. Well, we're going to find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find your position. As we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down the mind and body here today. Ensuring that our tummies are tucked in at our navel. Spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sulking. Keeping that spine straight gives us control of our bodies. With our shoulders relaxed downward away from the ears, relaxing those shoulders down allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. And if we choose, we can close our eyes or slightly gaze our eyes downwards if that feels good for us. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in, exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body as we relax and soothe silent meditation for natural breaths. Two breaths. As we bring our palms downward towards the earth, connecting our hands to our yoga mat. We are tuning in to our environment, taking a moment to notice what is going on around us right here, right now, in our present moment. During our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, flowing into that seated salute, palms are flowing towards the heavens. Feeling that stretch, we're going to lift the that spine, reaching those shoulders upwards towards the ears, feeling that spine elongate. Heart chakra slightly comes up, meaning that chest lifts forward, breathing our palms together, interlacing our fingers with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. We're going to allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room. Chin is up, heart chakra is open. And you may feel this in your lumbar spine, your lower back. This is a slight back bend. It is also a lengthening pose. We're going to hold this for three more breaths. Hey, I'm starving. What do I eat? Uh, so the rice, I think, just clicked. I have to make it vinegar. Two more breaths. Okay, telling back to center. We're going to separate our palms. We are in that seated extended mountain. Palms are separated, seated extended mountain. As we twist the body towards the right, palms come down towards the earth. We're going to gaze over that right shoulder. We can go deeper in that twist, connecting that left hand to that left to that right knee, left hand to right knee, feeling that deep twist. This spinal twist relaxes and soothes that spinal cord, feeling that spine decompress. Feeling those shoulders relax down. Holding this pose for a couple breaths. Two more breaths. And telling the body back to center, let's come into that seated star if that feels good. And our star, our palms are slightly outward towards the side. Chin is slightly up. That heart chakra is open, meaning that chest is lifted. Feeling. This stretch here, as we twist the body towards the left, palms come downward towards the earth, gazing over that left shoulder. We can option to bring that right hand to that left knee, going deeper in that twist. Feeling that spinal cord soothe and decompress here. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, coming back to center, flowing into that seated star. Palms are out towards the side. Chin is up. Flowing into that seated extended mountain. Palms are above the head, but they are not together. Seated extended mountain. Palms are not together. As we breathe our palms together. Exhaling down, palms come heart center. 
Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale through the mouth. Two breaths. As we flow our feet into a bow position, coming into a diamond or butterfly, we're going to work on opening up our, our hip flexors here. Diamond or butterfly, the butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. The diamond, our feet are further away. They are both hip openers. They are called bow positions. Our feet are connected together in a bow pose. We got our tummies tucked in at our navel. Spinal cord is nice and elongated. Heart chakra is open. Chin is up. It's going to hold this pose, maybe connecting our hands to our feet, if that feels good, squeezing our feet together. Just taking a moment to go inward here as we are bounding, as we are connecting with ourselves. With that tummy nice and tight, we're going to slightly hinge at the hips, allowing that torso to come closer to the feet. And when we hinge forward, you'll notice that you'll feel it a little more in those inner thighs. So only hinging forward as much as your body comfortably allows you to lean forward. If we choose, we can hinge with our head downward towards our feet, allowing our shoulders to come closer towards the earth, coming deeper in that hinge. Tummies are tight. We're going to hold this pose. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back up to center. We're going to come into a cow, lifting that heart chakra, lifting that chin. Feeling this in your lumbar spine, cow pose. We are in that seated cow. You may feel this in your lumbar spine. As we flow to our cat pose, bringing our chin to our clavicle, tucking our tummy in, spinal cord flows to the back of the room, cat pose. Flow back to our cow. As we do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath, we are working the spinal cord here. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center. We're going to use our hands to breathe our legs together, coming into that staff pose. Legs are straight in front of us, side by side. Toes are pointing up towards the heavens. Backs are nice elongated. Their heart chakra is open. Lifting that chest. Chin is up. Feeling nice and tall here in our staff pose. Relaxing our palms on our laps or the earth. Whichever feels best for you as we are gaze forward. We can close our eyes or we can slightly gaze the eyes down. If that feels good. Just hanging out in a staff pose. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we slightly hinge at the hips, we are now in our seated half forward fold. Hinging at the hips here, noticing how this feels in the lumbar back. You also feel this behind your legs here in your hamstrings, feeling that stretch. If we choose to go deeper, we can connect our hands to our ankles or the bottoms of our feet as our heart chakra comes downward towards our thighs. Our head, our forehead can relax downward towards our knees. We are now in that seated forward fold. This is a full body stretch if we are in that seated forward fold or half forward fold. Just listening to your body, feeling the body relax. Feeling your heart chakra connect to your thighs. Nice subtle breaths. Exhaling up to half forward fold as we come back up to that staff pose. Backs are straight. We're going to breathe our palms above our head. Seated salute. Breathing our palms together here in that salute. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. Palms come heart center. Seated prayer. Relaxing those shoulders down away from our ears. Two breaths. As we take this right foot, we're going to breathe this right foot inside of our inner thigh, coming into that position here where our feet is connecting to that inner thigh. Some people like to call it a half butterfly 
or half diamond. And you can widen that left leg if you choose to create a nice little stretch within that inner thigh. And we can take our left hand, bringing our left hand to our knee or our ankle or the bottoms of our feet. And you'll feel that stretch in your inner thigh and slightly behind your leg and your hamstrings. Slightly gazing up towards the right. You can gaze over that right shoulder if that feels good as well. Feeling that stretch, feeling that twist. And if we want to go deeper, we can breathe that right arm up in the air. Yes. And breathe that right arm towards our left toes. Feeling that nice deep stretch if we're able. We just hang out halfway. We are lifting the body here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. And exhale them back to center. We're going to straighten that right leg out. We are now in that wide-legged pose. And we're going to connect our hands to our knees or the bottoms of our knees. And we're going to slightly hand forward, just leaning that body forward. You'll feel that stretch behind both of your hamstrings and your legs, right behind your legs. Just feeling that stretch. Yes, we are lengthening here today. We are stretching. And we can pulse up and down if we choose, or we can just come on down, connecting our hands to our ankles or our toes if that feels good, allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward, allowing that head to relax downward. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Using our hands to walk our bodies up. We're going to take this left foot, breathe this left foot inside. This left foot connects to that right inner thigh. Feeling that stretch here. Their heart chakras open, that chin is up. We're going to breathe our left hand to our right knee or our ankles or the bottoms of our feet. And you feel in that side stretch. Hmm. If we choose, we can take this. Left hand, breathe it up in the air. Connect that left hand to that right toes, if that feels good. Allowing the head to melt down. Three more breaths. Feeling that stretch as we slowly come up. We're going to breathe that left foot out, coming back into that wide-legged pose. Tummies are tight, backs are straight, heart chakras open, chin is up. Just taking a moment here in this pose as we point our toes downward towards the earth. Noticing how it feels when we point our toes downward. You may feel it in your ankles, the top parts of your feet. We are stretching those tendons down there, those ligaments. So pointing those toes down, then pointing them back up. Just notice how that feels within the lower parts of your body. We can even wiggle our toes and keep our feet still and wiggle our toes. It's taking a moment to show our feet and the bottom parts of our legs a little love. Two more breaths. As we breathe our feet back into our diamond position, coming into that diamond pose or that butterfly, whatever feels good for you. Connecting our hands to our feet. We're going to take a moment to show our feet a little more love. We're going to squeeze our feet, our toes, whatever feels good for you. We are going to massage our feet. Keeping that heart chakra open and that chin up. We're going to keep that alignment nice and straight here in our spinal cord. Tummies are tucked at our navel, creating that nice, tight core. As we play around with our feet, we just show it a little love. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pose, we're gonna cross our feet and our ankles. We're gonna flow into a tabletop pose, coming onto our hands and our knees. Knees are hip distance apart. Palms are flat on the earth. We're gonna drop that tummy down, coming into that cow pose, noticing how this cow pose feels differently from that seated cow, even though they both feel great in that number spine, but they feel a little different. We are in our cow pose, dropping that tummy down, 
Chin is slightly up. As we flow to our cat, tucking that tummy in at that navel. Spinal cord flows up to the heavens. That chin comes to the clavicle. Flowing back to our cow. Maybe do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath. Two more breaths. We're going to find our pause at center. We're going to breathe our right leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. We're going to lift it up nice and high. We're going to pause that leg, working that gluteus maximus. Yes, working that buttocks. We are tucking our tummies in at our navel. We are not allowing that tummy to sag and hang. Having control of our abdominals as we cross that gluteus maximus muscle up. We don't have to pause. We can just keep it still. Whatever feels best for you. Four breaths. As we are gaze forward. Two more breaths. If we are pausing, we are rounding and lifting that booty. That booty is maximus. We're going to find that pause here. We're going to extend that left hand forward. So we got that right leg towards the back, left hand forward. This is a balancing pose. It is also a strengthening pose. Our tummies are tight. We are gaze forward. We are in that sunburned pose. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we take a nice deep breath, breathe in. Exhale, breathe in that knee to that elbow, feeling that crunch. Tummies are tight. Back to sunburned. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Coming back to our table. We're going to drop down to our cow. Relaxing that body, feeling that in the lumbar spine. Maybe doing a couple of rolls at our hips here, keeping that tummy tight as we are rolling. Noticing how this roll with our gluteus maximus, our hips feels in our lumbar spine. Going as nice and slow or deep as you choose. We are really working our spinal cord here today. Two more breaths. Tummies are tight. We're going to find that pause as we extend that left leg towards the back. Feeling that stretch. Palms are flat on the earth as we pulse that left leg up and down. That is an option. We don't have to pulse. If we pulse and we are working and rounding and lifting our gluteus maximus, which is one of the biggest muscles, if not the biggest muscle in our body, we can always round and lift our buttocks. Take some work. We can round, pulse it up, feel that squeeze. Relax that leg to the back, extend that right arm. Left legs to the back, right arms extended, sunburned, opposite side, gaze forward. Tummies are nice and tight. We are building strength. We are working on our balance here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Taking a nice deep breath in, feeling that stretch. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird, tummies are tight, knee to elbow, back to bird, knee to elbow. Lower back to bird, exhale into our table as we drop down to our cow. Feeling that stretch as we flow to cat. As we push our bodies up to our damn dog, gazing at our feet. Really feeling that stretch here in the damn dog. Yes. We can walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right if that feels good. Exhale, breathing that right leg up in the air. Three-legged dog, feeling that stretch, gazing at the foot. We're going to breathe that right knee to that right elbow, feeling that crunch. Right knee to right elbow. Back to three-legged. Right knee to right elbow. Back to three-legged. Right knee to right elbow. Back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog. We are working our lower extremities here today. Feeling this in your, in your wrist. As we flow to three-legged opposite side. Left foot comes up in the air. Feeling that stretch. 
bringing that left knee to that left elbow. Back to three-legged. Left knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Left knee to elbow. Working those, working the arms here. Back to three-legged. Exhale into down dog. We're going to come on to our forearms. Coming into a dolphin pose. Gazing back at our feet. This dolphin pose here is a headstand prep pose. We are in an inversion in this pose. So taking a moment to notice how this inversion feels within the body. We are gazed back. We are on our forearms. We can option to pulse up and down on our tippy toes. Be careful not to flip over. Pulsing up and down. Notice that when you pulse up and down, you will really feel that strengthening in the lower parts of your arms. <sighs> Pulsing is an option. Three more breaths. Tummies are nice and tight. Two more breaths. Holding this pose, we're going to drop down to our knees. We're going to keep that gluteus maximus up nice and high in the air. We're going to bring that heart chakra down, coming into a puppy pose. Chest comes down to the earth. That gluteus maximus is up high in the air, feeling this in your lumbar spine, noticing how this feels. We can extend our arms in front of us if we choose. We'll be in an extended puppy if our arms are in front of us. We can also breathe our palms together and flow our palms above our head in a prayer. Hands puppy pose. Whatever feels best for you as our heart chakra connects to the earth. Our third eye chakra, our forehead is connected to the earth. Shoulder blades are relaxed forward. Noticing how this feels in your lumbar spine, is soothing and relaxing here in the back. Slightly gazing the eyes down with a close in the eyes, if that feels good for you. As we use this puppy pose to relax and soothe, six natural breaths of silence. Three more breaths. Holding this puppy pose, we're going to flow into a child's pose, allowing the buttocks to come back towards the heels of the feet. Your torso will come closer or become more in between your thighs here. Their heart chakra is coming even closer to the earth. Noticing how the puppy pose and the child's pose look very similar. They even work similar muscle groups, but they feel slightly different within the body. So just taking a moment to notice child's pose, puppy pose, how they look similar. But yet they feel a little different. With our heart chakra connected, our third eye forehead is connected to the earth. May we take another six breaths of silence. We can be either in an extended child's pose, meaning our arms are extended above our heads, flat on the earth, or we can come into a prayer hands, child's pose. We also can bring our hands behind our backs and connect our hands to our feet. Whatever feels good for you. Four more breaths. Two breaths. If we're in a prayer hands child's pose, we're going to extend our palms in front of our heads, palms on the earth. And with our palms flat on the earth, we're going to spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose. Using our palms to wave that body forward and using our palms to wave our buttocks towards our heels. Keeping that 
abdominal muscles nice and tight here in that spinal wave, really moving those hip flexors here, the hip muscles, the lumbar spine, noticing how this feels. Yes, we are working, soothing, and relaxing that spinal cord. Optioning to wave your entire body ahead, just still in that whole Kundalini experience going throughout your entire spinal cord, including your neck, your cervical spine. Four more breaths. Two breaths. As we found our pause at center, coming back into that table, palms are flat on the earth, bringing those knees that hip distance apart. We're going to drop down to that cow. Tummy comes downward towards the earth, chin is slightly up, feeling this in that lumbar spine. Exhale into cat. Coming back to our tabletop pose, we're going to come up onto our knees. Placing our hands at the lower parts of our backs. And our hips. Flow forward. We're in our camel prep pose here. So hands are at the lower parts of our backs. Maybe our fingers are pointing downward towards our buttocks, our gluteus maximus. As we tilt that pelvic bone forward, noticing how the heart chakra, your chest, comes up in the air. And you'll feel this in your lumbar spine. You can option to relax your shoulders. I'm sorry, you can option to relax your head between your shoulder blades. Going a little deeper in that camel prep pose here. We can also option to extend that right arm up in the air and lift it over our head. May we change sides, lifting that left arm up in the air, flowing it over the head. Coming back to that camel prep, both of our hands are on the lower parts of our backs. This was the prep pose for our lower back, as well as all of those spinal relaxation poses that we just did. So we're going to try something fun here, going a little deeper here in this camel. We're going to go into a half camel, starting on the left side with that hip forward. We're going to take this left hand, bring that left hand to that left ankle. I'm sorry, the heel of the foot. Feeling that stretch, allowing the head to relax between the shoulder blades if you're able. You can option to extend that right arm up in the air or flow it over your head nice and deep. Having some fun in this pose here, just feeling that stretch. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to that camel prep. We are back on our knees. Hands are at the lower parts of our backs. If that feels okay in your body, we're going to switch sides. Half camel, opposite side. Left, right hand goes to that right heel of the foot. Body leans to the back. We can option to extend that left arm up in the air and flow it towards the back of the body. And if this feels good, you can go into a full camel by connecting both hands to the heels of the feet, if it feels good. We can also bound our hands behind our backs here in that camel. Noticing how that feels. Bring the hands behind the back as we flow into that camel. This is a nice deep back bend. Two more breaths. Exhaling up, coming up nice and slow. Ensure we don't feel dizzy. We're going to come more down to our knees. We're going to flow back into that puppy pose. Coming into a puppy pose. But that is in the air. Heart chakra comes towards the earth. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. <sighs> This puppy pose is a counter pose to what we just did. This puppy pose is soothing and relaxing that deep back bend we just did. So allowing the body to completely relax, taking another nice deep breath. Exhale. Feeling your shoulders flow forward into the earth. Feeling your heartbeat connect to the universe. You are connecting here. Mind, body, soul. Eyes are closed if that feels good. Or slightly gaze down with that 
heart chakra, that third eye chakra, the forehead connected. Allowing those shoulders to melt forward, feeling that body completely relaxed, soothed. Six breaths of silence. Optioning to flow into a child's pose if that feels good for you. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling now, coming to that tabletop. <sighs> Relaxing here for a second. We're going to flow onto our tummies, coming onto our bellies as we flow into a Sphinx pose. We are on our forearms. Here in that Sphinx pose, our tummies are connected to the earth. Our forearms are on the earth. We are not strong at our shoulders. Lifting the shoulders, lifting that head away from the shoulders, noticing that there, we are not shrugged. Having complete control of their body here in our space pose. That chin is slightly up. This too is a slight back bend. Yes, we are really working the spinal cord here today. Just taking a moment to hang out here in Sphinx pose. Eyes, gaze down with a close if that feels good. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. Two more breaths. As we flow into a baby cobra, placing our palms flat on the earth, using our palms to push our torso slightly away from the earth. And that baby cobra, elbows are slightly bent, chin is up. Flow into that cobra, straightening those arms a little more. Baby cobra to cobra. That torso is a little further away from the earth. Heart chakra is open, chin is up. You'll feel this a little deeper in that lumbar spine. As we untuck our toes, if they were tucked, we're going to flow to an up dog. Taking the thighs off the earth, up dog. Noticing how all of these poses look very similar. That space pose, that baby cobra, that cobra, and that up dog. All look very similar, yet they were different parts of the body. We are here now in our up dog. We're going to relax our thighs back down on the earth, coming back into that cobra. Flow into that baby cobra, bending those elbows, coming into that Sphinx pose, back on those forearms. Head is relaxed away from the shoulders, relaxing those shoulders away from the ears. That chin is up, that heart chakra is opened. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. Taking a moment to go inward, noticing the difference between the poses we just did. Sphinx pose we are in right now. Baby cobra, cobra, and up dog. Two more breaths. As we flow back to that baby cobra, palms are flat on the earth. Come into that cobra, torsos further away from the earth. Exhale, up dog, untucking those toes, top thighs come off the earth, up dog. As we flow to down dog, gazing at the feet, buttocks comes high in the air, down dog. Walking our dog by pedal on our feet, left and right. As we walk our hands towards our feet, we're gonna flow into that complete forward fold. Feeling that stretch and that complete forward fold, head is downward towards the earth. This complete forward fold is a full body stretch. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. <sighs> Noticing how this feels behind the legs and the hamstrings. Yes, we are lengthening our bodies here today. Two more breaths. Exhale up to a half forward fold. That back is straight. Slightly gaze forward. Noticing how this half forward fold feels. As we yogi walk our feet slightly apart, just a little, let's bring it a nice wide length apart. 
as we come back down to that complete forward fold. And if we option, we can flow into a rag doll, connecting our hands to our elbows, allowing that head to completely melt down towards the earth. Yes, we can stay still in our rag doll or we can rock and sway that body from side to side, feeling the hamstrings lengthen and stretching. Noticing how it feels when we rock the body from side to side as opposed to staying still. Four breaths. Finding our pause at center, coming up to that half forward fold. Fingertips are connected to the earth here. Half forward fold, we are still wide legged. Gaze forward, noticing how this feels in the body. Exhaling up to a wide legged Tadasana. Palms are at our sides. We are wide legged. Heart chakra is open, lifting that chest. That chin is up. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale, palms come up towards the heavens. Flowing down to our prayer, palms come heart center. Relaxing those shoulders away from the ears. Coming into a cactus hands, palms come out towards the side. Noticing when we bring the palms out, we are working the black blades here. As we bend our knees, coming into that goddess stance, that God, God stance. Goddess, God stance, we are working the lower parts of our bodies here. Optioning to pulse up and down to really feel that burn. Or we can rock that body from side to side. Or we can just stay still in our goddess stance. Pack his hands. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Working the lower parts of our bodies here. Working those quads. Working the gluteus maximus. Working the calves. Two more breaths. We're going to find that still. Exhale to standing star. Legs are out wide to the side. Palms are towards the side. Standing star. Earlier, we did a seated star. Today, we're in our standing star. Heart chakras open, chins up, breathe in. Exhale. With that chin up, let me take a moment to self-reflect, noticing how we feel in our body, noticing our thoughts that's going on within, being aware, being mindful of, no judgment, always being kind and loving to oneself, Knowing that thoughts may come and go throughout the day, but they are thoughts. They are not reality. They are thoughts. Taking in the good thoughts and releasing the negative. Taking in what's going to be beneficial to you and letting go of what is not. We are a star. We are the star of our lives. We are the writers of our lives. We are the directors of our lives. We choose who we are, what we take in. Standing star. Four breaths of silence. Keeping that chin up, tummy's tight. Two more breaths. Feeling your arms starting to burn here. We are really working our arms. Staying still, we are still building strength just by staying still. Sometimes stillness is everything. Exhaling back to that goddess stance, bending those knees, coming to cactus hands. We are the goddesses and the gods of our lives. Holding this pose, optioning the pulse will rock from side to side. We are building strength in the lower parts of our bodies. As our feet are grounded to the earth, it is holding us up. It is filling the strength within our entire body. God is stance. God stance. Filling that burn, rocking from side to side if you choose. Working different muscles when we rock. Working different muscles when we pulse up and down. Filling that burn. Holding the pose. We can do this. Four more breaths. Tummies are tight. You are strong. You are power. Two more breaths. We're going to hold this pose. We're going to go over. We're going to do bonus. We're going to go the extra mile. This is for ourselves. Two more breaths. One breath. Finally, pause at center. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale, standing star. Standing strong. Palms out towards the side. That heart chakra is open. Ready for the new. That chin is slightly up because we keep our head up no matter what. Keeping that chin up. Keeping that heart chakra open. Tummies are nice and tight. Spinal cords are nice and elongated here. Two more breaths. 
Breathing our palms together above our head in that salute. Yogi walking our feet together, coming up nice and tall here. We are in our standing salute. Taking a nice breath. Exhale. Interlacing those fingers together with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. We're going to allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back. Feeling this slight back bend in your lumbar spine. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center. Separating those palms. We are in that standing extended mountain. Palms are separated. Standing extended mountain. When our palms are together, it is called the standing salute. As we lean our bodies towards the right, keeping that tummy nice and tight, we are now in our standing banana. We also can call this a standing crescent moon. If we separate our palms, we are in that standing side bend. Palms separated, standing side bend. Palms together, standing crescent moon, or AKA standing banana. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, standing crescent moon. I'm sorry, standing extended mountain. As we lean our bodies towards the opposite side, feeling that side bend. If our palms are together, we are in that crescent moon. Or standing banana. Separating those palms, we are in that standing side bend. Tummies are tight. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center. Standing salute, palms together. Exhale, standing prayer, palms come at heart center. Being mindful to relax those shoulders downward away from the ears. Relax those shoulders down. This relieves tension and stress in the upper parts of our bodies. Relax in those shoulders. Here in our prayer, may we go inward. Three breaths. Tummies are tight. Spinal cord is elongated here. Two more breaths. Slightly hedge back the hips and our prayer hands. Just hinging forward. Noticing how this feel behind your legs and your hamstrings. Feeling that stretch. Backs are straight. Gaze forward. Two more breaths. As we bend our knees, coming into a chair pose here. We can be in a prayer hands or we can extend our arms in front of us in that extended chair. Whatever feels good for you, we are going to continue to work the lower parts of our bodies, building strength in our legs. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we twist our body towards the right, chair pose twist. Exhale back to center. Chair pose twist, opposite side. Exhaling back to center, two more breaths. Feeling that burn. Exhale, half forward fold, straightening those legs, bringing those hands underneath those knees. Back to straight, gaze forward, half forward fold as we take a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Two more breaths. Flowing down to a complete forward fold, connecting the hands to the lower parts of the ankles. Head melts downward towards the feet, feeling that full body stretch. Four more breaths. Walking our hands forward, walking our feet towards the back, down dog. Walking our dog by pedal on our feet left and right. As we flow into a three-legged dog, lifting that right leg up in the air, feeling that stretch, gazing at the feet. Taking a nice deep breath. We're going to exhale, breathing that right leg in front of us, coming into a pigeon pose. Just breathing that right leg forward, crossing in front of our body, pigeon pose. Right leg is forward, left leg's to the back. Feeling that stretch here. 
and that pigeon. Oh, using my hands to lift that torso away from the earth. This pose here prepares the body for split. That heart chakra is open, that chin is up as we slightly gaze over that right shoulder. When we gaze over that right shoulder, feel in that spinal twist. Three more breaths. And exhale and back to center, slightly gazing over that left shoulder. We are gazing back at that left foot that is straight behind us. We have an option to take our left hand and collect, connect that left hand to that left thigh, the back of the leg. Feel the neck stretch as we are gazing over that left shoulder. If this feels well, may we lift that left leg up in the air, connecting that left leg to that left hand. King pigeon. We can also use a strap, connecting that strap to our foot. If we have any issues getting in that king pigeon, see that there, using that strap. Or we can just connect our hands to our foot, whatever feels good for you. Also, people get confused. The king pigeon and the mermaid, they look very similar. The mermaid, your feet are slightly out towards the side and people cuff their foot in their elbow. And that mermaid, if they can get into that position. You can also use the strap for that as well. King pigeon mermaid, pigeon pose, whatever you choose. Heart chakra is open, chin is up. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, relaxing that left leg straight to the back, breathing that left hand forward. Both palms are flat on the earth. We're going to flow into a sleeping pigeon, allowing that torso to come down towards the earth. Heart chakra connects to that thigh. Eyes slightly gaze down to close. We can relax our forehead on our hands or a yoga block or even a pillow. Here in our sleeping pigeon, we are soothing and relaxing. We are going inwards. Using the sleeping pigeon to relax. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Feeling those shoulders relax towards your knees. Just allow those shoulders to melt forward. Two more breaths. Using those hands to lift our bodies up, coming out of that sleeping pigeon. We're going to untuck that toe behind us. We're going to lift that body up, breathing that right leg towards the back, down, dog, gazing at the feet. Walking that dog by pedal on that feet left and right. Our tummies are nice and tight, always having control of those abdominal muscles. We're going to find that pause, extend that left leg, three-legged dog, left side. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale, breathing that left forward, that left leg forward, crossing in the front of the body. Right leg is straight towards the back, pigeon pose opposite side. Feeling that stretch within the body. This pose, once again, prepares the body for split. Uh, taking a nice deep breath. Exhale, slightly gazing over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Exhaling back to center. As we slightly gaze over that right shoulder, if that feels good, maybe we can connect our right hand to the back of our right thigh, leg, the back of the leg. See how that feels? If this feels well, we can lift that right leg up into that right hand, connecting that hand to the foot, optioning to use a strap if that feels good. Noticing how one side of the body may feel differently from the other. Noticing the difference. Nothing's the same, not even on our own body. We can option to flow into a king pigeon or a mermaid, or we can simply just keep our hand in our foot. Heart chakra is open, that chin is up. Three more breaths. Two breaths. 
Exhale. Relax in that right leg straight to the back. Breathe in that right hand forward. Both palms are flat on the earth as we flow into a sleeping pigeon, allowing that torso to come down towards the earth. Shoulders melt forward. Forehead relaxes on our hands, our arms. Allowing the body to completely relax here in our sleeping pigeon as we go inward. Four breaths of silence. Slightly, slightly awakening from that sleeping pigeon. Using our hands to push our torsos up away from the earth. Noticing how this feels. Being mindful of that left, I'm sorry, being mindful of that right leg behind us. Just being mindful of it for now. We're going to take that right leg and we're going to swing it forward, just breathing it forward. We can flow into a cow face. We can flow into a diamond or butterfly or any seated pose that feels good for you. May you find your seated position. And I went into that pigeon pose, sleeping pigeon, just to give you guys another way of going into a closing pose. We don't always have to be in Shavasana. There's so many different ways to close out a session and relax the mind and body of our students. And now that we are in our seated pose, maybe use this pose to focus on self. We are grounding. We are settled, we are centered, we are focused on self. Our spinal cords are nice and elongated, always being mindful to keep our spinal cord long. Always being mindful to relax those shoulders down away from the ears. Well, we all know shoulders hold a lot of tension and stress. Relax those shoulders when we're out in the world. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale through the mouth. Blowing our palms above our heads and our salute, palms together. Reaching those shoulders now up towards the ears. We are elongating and lengthening that spine, feeling that stretch, yes. Lengthening those shoulders, hands up towards the heavens. Feeling that stretch, interlacing the fingers, pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens, allowing those arms to slightly flow towards the back. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Exhaling back to center, separating those palms, seated, extended mountain palms are separated as we twist that body towards the right. Palms come down towards the earth, gazing over that right shoulder. We are back in that spinal twist, soothing and relaxing that spinal cord. Allow the body to relax, feel and those shoulders relax down. Eyes to slightly gaze down with a closed, if that feels good. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, just twisting those arms opposite sides, feeling the arms twist, gazing over that left shoulder. Spinal twist opposite. Feel the next spine decompress. Relaxing those shoulders down. Keeping those facial muscles relaxed. Two more breaths. And exhale back to center, flowing the palms up to that star. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Remembering that we are a star. We are the stars of our lives. We are the creators of our lives. We are writing the chapters of our life. Our life is our business. How we manage it is up to us. We create as we flow into that extended mountain. Palms are above our head, but they are not together. We are standing strong. We are sitting strong. We are strong as a mountain. Filling that extended mountain. For we are as strong as that mountain. 
as we breathe our palms together above our heads in that salute, as we salute to ourselves, being who we want to be, being in control of our lives as we relax our palms at heart center, breathing our palms down in front of our chest, relaxing those shoulders away from the ears, being mindful to keep those shoulders relaxed. Tummies are nice and tight. Spinal cord is nice and long. Dated. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. I would like to thank you all for allowing me to practice self-care and teaching training with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing always to be here with you guys. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste.